Hello, Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Do you listen to me? Hola, Carlos. ¿Me escucha? Carlos. ¿Me escucha, Carlos? ¿Tiene problemas con el audio? Sí, sí. Bueno, fíjese que es, no sé si trabajaron anoche. ¿Sí trabajaron anoche? Sí, sí, trabajamos. Sí, es que nadie se ha conectado. Usted es el primero. Entonces ya son casi las cuatro de la tarde, ¿verdad? Ah, eh, ok. Y no sé si la va a reprogramar la coordinación porque como son dos horas, ¿de acuerdo? Sí, sí, incluso yo este, hasta puse alarma, pero no sé, de repente me levanté, vi la hora y ya, sí. ya casi he pasado el favor. Sí, correcto. Entonces yo escribí a la coordinación, ¿verdad? Para ver uh -huh. si les planteé la situación. Entonces no sé si se va, yo creo que se va a reprogramar esta, esta clase porque como son dos horas seguidas, Así es. Y ya eh, son las 3 y 46 minutos, ¿verdad? Entonces quiero preguntarle cómo va usted en la plataforma. Ya como teníamos, teníamos libre este, la, la semana pasada y a mí prácticamente Ajá. que yo quiero aprender, tengo hambre de aprender. La Ajá. plataforma está completada al 100%. Ya la completó. Sí, yo estaba Así. revisando eh, y algunos sí, veamos. Acá vamos a ingresar en la lista de asistencia porque ya la actualicé. Entonces, okay. sí, hay algunos que ya, ya la completaron, ¿verdad? Y yo dije, me voy a quedar acá, tal vez alguien se conecta y me comenta si es que han estado trabajando. Lo intuí, porque la vez pasada que también trabajaron, solo se me conectaron como seis o siete, creo, y me dijeron que sí, habían estado trabajando bastante durante toda la semana por la noche, ¿verdad? Así es. Y ya salen tarde, ¿verdad? Es decir, no salen temprano, pues cuando terminan no salen como a las seis de la mañana, sino que salen un poquito más tarde, ¿sí? Sí, a las siete de, de, de la mañana y eh, todo lo que se traga el, el transporte el de la empresa al lugar. Ajá. Sí, vaya, fíjese que sí, estoy viendo que ya está actualizado todo. Usted, son tres compañeros que han terminado la plataforma completa, eh, Cristian Wilfredo, eh, me aparece acá Stanley, Ernesto y usted han completado la plataforma completamente ¿verdad? entonces sí, sí. le voy a poner acá porque como ahí van a aparecer los minutos de asistencia Carlos Luis le vamos a poner la asistencia ya de una vez y a ver qué, qué determina, yo le voy a dar la clase a usted, pero vamos a quedar pendiente ¿verdad? a ver qué dicen ellos si sí. ¿Reprogramamos toda la clase las dos horas o, o solamente la hora qué? Porque ya sería determinación de, de la administración, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. Entonces comencemos con la clase, pues. ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. En la clase anterior sí se logró conectar. Sí, sí, en la clase ah, anterior Ah, ok, sí. vaya, vamos a hacer un repasito entonces de lo de de lo que vimos para que nos ubiquemos, ¿verdad? So, um, if you remember last class, we were working with the simple present short answers, yes? And here, we use the modal auxiliary do. For example, do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do, or no, I don't, with short answers. And then we have, does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does, or no, he doesn't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do, or no, they don't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does, or no, it doesn't. If you remember, we were working with the completion of these uh, sentences, which was actually a short conversation, right? And yes. then we were working with the platform and also with the furniture okay if you remember and you were working 
in the completion of this diagram? Yes or no, this table, yeah? Yes. Okay, great, excellent. And we had this conversation. Okay, we began also to work with the structure there is and there are, right? There is for singular, there are for plural. So we have, this apartment is great. Thanks, I love it. But I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table, and there's no sofa here in the living room, and there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp, the one that she is touching. So let's go shopping next weekend. Okay, are you available to read? Yes. Yes, okay, yes. so you are going to read Chris and I am going to read Linda. Okay, to the count of three, you begin. One, two, three. This apartment is great. Thanks, I love it. But I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Okay, now we switch. I begin and you continue. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it, but I really need some furniture. 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 What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There, there are, are some... There are you. You yeah, continue. There are some uh -huh. chairs in the kitchen, but okay. there isn't a table. Mm, and uh, there is no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend, okay? Now you read all the conversation. You alone, all the conversation. Complete. Yes, complete. Okay. Uh, this apartment is great. Thanks. I love it, but I really need some furniture. Furniture. What do you need? Okay, repeat furniture. after me. Furniture. 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 Excellent. When you say furniture, you don't pronounce the first U. The first vowel is voiceless, it's mute. You say furniture, furniture. Furniture. Excellent. Continue, please. What do you need? Oh, I need a lot of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Excellent. Very well. Only the word uh, furniture. Furniture. Okay. Furniture. And now, furniture. yes, we're going to move to the platform. Okay. Let me see. If I have it open. I don't know. Okay, here. Let's see. Okay, over here. I'm going to share it with you. And here we go. Okay, so we can continue. I, but I, I don't know if I shared it with you. No, I didn't, right? Okay, over here. Right now, yes. And we're going to work on the vocabulary furniture, yeah? So yeah. I'm going to play this video so you can listen and we're going to follow the instructions, okay? Because yeah. in here you didn't uh, complete the, 
the sentences, right, in the discussion. So we're going to do it today. But anyways, here we go, okay? Let's listen carefully. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for furniture and other household items. Let's get started by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Armchairs. Armchairs. Stove. Stove. Let's repeat. Curtains. Curtains. Pictures. Pictures. Clock. Clock. Bed. Bed. Table. Coffee table. Table. Coffee table. Microwave oven. Microwave oven. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Lamps. Lamps. Sofa. Sofa. Desk. Desk. Bookcase. Bookcase. Dresser. Dresser. Chairs. Chairs. Mirror. Mirror. Rug. Rug. Television. Television. Other vocabulary that is important to understand is kitchen, mm -hmm. dining room, living room, bedroom. And now let's practice using the vocabulary that we just heard by making statements about your kitchen, dining room, living room, and bathroom. For example, my living room has a sofa, a rug, and a television. My dining room has After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. So right now, what we're going to do is that you're going to describe, okay, the parts of your house. Did we get it? Yeah, here is the instruction. You're going to build sentences describing the kitchen room, the dining room, the living room, and your bedroom. For example, my living room has a sofa, a rug, and a TV. Yeah? When you build the sentences, okay, you add them over here. But you're going to describe the different uh, rooms in your house and the objects. For example, if with the scribe, just for example, okay, over here, my kitchen, just as an example for you. If you say, my kitchen has a stove, yeah? A microwave oven. What else? What else can we find in the okay. in the kitchen? A stove, a microwave oven, um, a blender. Yes, a, a cup board, a cup board, I think it goes together, a cup board. Mm. What else? A blender, ah, a sink. Mm. What else? Uh, a clock. A clock, pans, you know the meaning of pans? Cacerolas, yeah? A clock, pans, or what else could it be? Uh, maybe a coffee maker, a uh, refrigerator, a refrigerator. What else could it be? Uh, uh, let's see. I think that that's enough. Yeah. And. What do you mean in Kerber? 
el pantry. Uh, uh -huh. And a refrigerator. This is my kitchen, but you have to describe, okay? When you write it, you add it to the discussion. Uh -huh. And then uh, you describe your living room. My living room. What can we find in your living room? And you say, my living room has, and you start writing. Okay, what we can a find television. in your a a television. television. Okay, uh, has a television. Uy. Television, what else? A uh, sofa. A sofa. A uh, clock. A clock. Uh, a mirror. Coffee table. Ah, a coffee table. Very well. What else? A uh, bookcase. A bookcase. Remember that I need you to be writing it in the in the discussion box, okay? Necesito que me la vaya escribiendo en la discussion box, ok? Ok. Ok, sí, voy so, a sí, ingrese para que de una vez quede ya ahí el trabajo. It is, uh, let me see. It is in... Two point six. Okay, look for that. Vocabulary furniture. This one. Okay, let's see here so we can have it over there. In the añade una publicación and then you start writing it. So it is in vocabulary furniture, the two point six lesson. And then we continue over here. I'm going to. The whiteboard, right? It was the white, yeah. Is sharing. So if you remember here, let's see. My living room has a TV, a sofa, a clock, a coffee table, a bookcase, blah, 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 and you continue, right? And then maybe we can say Let's continue. Uh, a bookcase. What What did you say, Carlos? Bookcase. A bookcase. Mm, Llorero. Oh, uh, yeah, it is over here. I already wrote a bookcase. Yeah. Okay, my screen is loading, it says. I wonder why. But anyways, let's wait then. Okay, so my living room has a television, a sofa, a clock, a coffee table, a bookcase. What else? Bookcase and uh, rocks. A rug. A fan? Un ventilador? Mm. A fan? How many lamps? How many lamps do you have in the living room? Uh, three lamps. Okay, two lamps. Mm -hmm. We have a television, a sofa, a clock, a coffee table, a bookcase, a rock, a fan, two lamps, uh, plants. 
do you have plants in the in the living room? Um, I believe. Okay, how many plants do you have? One, two, or three plants? Uh, three lamps. Three, no, three plants. Three plants. Three plants. Okay. Uh, do you have a calendar? Yes, yes, of course. Okay, a calendar. A mirror? Two. Okay, a mirror, a, mi a mirror. What else can we find in your living room? We have a sofa, a clock, a coffee table, a bookcase, a rug, a fan, two lamps, three plants, a calendar, a mirror, um, armchairs, armchairs, uh, los sillones. Yes. Um, yes. Okay, one or two armchairs. Two. Okay. Two chairs. Two armchairs. 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 But it goes together, I think. Armchairs. And that's it. And then we're going to say eh, a mirror and two armchairs. And two armchairs. Uh, uh, I, I think to game mm -hmm. station ah a calendar a mirror uh a game station and two armchairs yes and two armchairs yeah okay now let's see we're going to to describe my bedroom okay and you start describing your bedroom hello Beatriz how are you welcome at Sleeping Beauty yes, hello hello <laughs> okay listen Emperatriz where I'm going to tell you okay you continue Carlos Emperatriz we are working in the platform okay we are working in lesson 2.6 here vocabulary furniture um we are we watch this video it's about the pronunciation but here the idea is that you follow and complete this instruction okay here ahora vamos a practicar usando el vocabulario que acaban de oír haciendo oraciones acerca de su cocina comedor sale de estar y dormitorio por ejemplo uh my living room has a sofa, a rock, and a TV. My dining room has, y acá lo que tiene es su comedor, describiendo los muebles, ¿verdad? Calendar, whatever you have, and so on. Pero lo vamos a trabajar acá en añade una publicación, ¿sí? ¿Ok? Entonces eso es lo que estamos trabajando con, con Carlos. Tiene que ingresar a la plataforma 2.6 and you open here, añade una publicación. And you describe. Ok, ya, ya lo es. Ok, you describe your, your living room, your kitchen. For example, here with Carlos, he began describing my kitchen has a stove, a microwave oven, a blender, a cupboard, a sink, a clock, a pans, pans, cacerolas, coffee maker, and a refrigerator, for example. My living room has a television, a sofa, a clock, a coffee table, a bookcase, a rug, a fan, two lamps, three plants, a calendar, a mirror, a game station, and two armchairs, okay? So we have my bedroom now. You have to describe your bedroom. And later you tell me what you wrote about your bedroom. Okay. And let's see. So we have uh, my kitchen, my living room, my bedroom. 
another room that we might have. Mm. Maybe my kitchen, my living room, my bedroom, one more. Maybe, do you have a garden? Do you have a garden? Tienen jardín en la casa? Hello? Do you listen to me? Me escuchan? No, you don't listen to me. Sí. Yes, yes. Ah, okay. Yes, do, you ha do you have a garden? Tienen un jardín? I'm not. I no, am not. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Okay. okay. I don't have a garden. Mm. Do you have a... a I, I have garage? a garden. Ah, okay. You, maybe you may describe your garden. You say, my garden. Okay. What can we find in your garden? Or maybe... Uh, my my garage okay tienen cochera estacionamiento yes, okay know. my garage okay so you write carlos about your garden and she writes about the garage yeah because she doesn't have a garden but you have a garden I'm going to stop sharing because I'm going to check your attendance in practice. Here, when you finish, you tell me so we can continue with the other activity, okay? Okay. okay.
finish. Excellent. Congratulations. And you add it, right? So let's see if uh, it appears your, your information. No, but it is not this one. It is the previous one. You already did this. And we began with that. Yeah, here it is, your information. Thank you. Ah, in a hammer. Hey, that's great. Okay, so let's continue with the next activity, okay? Because here we go. Let's see. Now here, by the end of this class, you will learn how to form statements with there is and there are. We studied this in the previous class, correct? Do you remember? Se recuerda que esto ya lo estudiamos. That there is and there yes. are. But now... We're going to um, work over here, adding your publication, right? And here we go. Let's see. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements with there is and there are. Also, how to use some, no, any when referring to different objects. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, There Aren't Any Chairs. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice the conversation. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it. But I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Now, let's learn how to use there is and there are. I would like to start by demonstrating the examples on this chart. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. There's equals there is. To better understand how to form this statement, I would like to write some formulas. For singular objects, there plus is or isn't plus a, that's the article a, or no, plus complement. For plural objects, there plus are or aren't plus some or any or no plus some kind of complement. So let's take a look at the first example on the left hand side of this chart. There's a bed in the bedroom. This is a singular object so we're going to follow the formula there plus is or isn't plus a or no plus some kind of complement. So in this case we use there, then the verb to be is, is. Um, on the example is contracted as you can see, there's. We will use the article a, the complement is bed, in the bedroom. We're going to do something similar with the next example. There's no sofa in the bedroom. At the beginning of our sentence, we have there. The verb to be is is. Once again, on the example is contracted. Then we will use the article a because we are talking about a singular object. Finally, we have the complement. Sofa in the bedroom. The last example. There isn't a table in the kitchen. At the beginning of our sentence, we use there. The verb to be is isn't. 
because we're expressing something negative. Then we use the article A because we're talking about a singular object. Finally, we have the complement, table in the kitchen. Now let's look at the right hand side of this chart. For these examples, we're going to talk about plural objects. So we need that formula, there plus are or aren't plus some or any or no plus some kind of complements. Now let's uh, look at the first example on the right hand side of the chart. There are some chairs in the kitchen. At the beginning of our sentence we use there. After that the verb to be are. Next we use some. It's important to mention that we will use some whenever we're making positive statements. We can't say any, for example. Okay, listen to what the presenter is saying. We are going to use some when the statement is positive. It is affirmative. We say there are some blah, 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 but we never say there are any blah 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 because any is for negative some is for plural in affirmative statements okay finally we have the complement chairs in the kitchen our next example there are no chairs in the living room at the beginning of our sentence we use there after that, the verb to be are. Next, we're going to use no. Notice that we will use this expression whenever we're expressing something negative. And you can also say aren't any as well. Either one is correct. Okay, he's saying that you can say there are no chairs in the kitchen or in the living room. Or you may say there aren't, okay? But you may say there are no without T and the complement. And you may say there aren't, okay? Both are okay, but only in negative. Uh, finally, we have the complement, chairs in the living room. For our uh, last example, there aren't any chairs in the living room. We start our sentence with there. Next, the verb to be oh. aren't. After that, we're going to use In. any. It's important to remind you that we will use any whenever we're making negative statements. We can't say some, for example. Finally, we have the complement, chairs in the living room. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to describe the objects that you have and don't have in your house or apartment. Okay, so right now, class, you're going to write sentences describing what uh, you have and you don't have. Okay, for example, in the living room and in the kitchen, only in those two, okay? In the living room and in the kitchen. After you finish this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so right now over here, you add your content. And we're going to build some sentences using there are some, which is for plural, or there aren't any, or there are no. Okay, now I'm going to do Erase this, delete, 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 and delete because we're going to we're going to start okay over here. You may start in my living room. There is no um. There is no computer, for example. There is no computer, right? 
This is one example. Or you may say, in my living room, there are some plants. Yes or no? If it is more than one, you may say some plants. In my living room, there are some plants. Yeah? And then you build two sentences about what we can find or we cannot find in your kitchen and maybe in the bedroom. Yeah? Okay? Remember in negative, for example, if I say in my kitchen, there isn't or okay, there aren't, there aren't any TVs. There aren't any TVs. You may say that, yeah? In mi cocina no hay televisiones or televisores, yeah? Or the same sentence, you can say, in my kitchen, there are no TVs. And they are the same. The meaning is the same. El significado es el mismo. In my kitchen, there aren't any TVs, or in my kitchen, there are no TVs. Yeah? Remember in the discussion box, okay? When you finish, please tell me so we can go over the next activity. Okay, almost finished. No. Okay.
I finish. Okay, let's continue then because time flies. Okay. If I update it, it is going to be in there. And now this is the knowledge check that you already did. And in here, uh, we went over this, yeah. Now let's listen. We're going to be scanning today. And here we go, because I need you to practice this. I'm going to play it for you, so please pay close attention, okay? Hi, everyone. In this Do you listen? Yes? Hello, do you listen to the audio? Class, you'll develop skills in yes. scanning and reading for details. Reading. Two special houses in the American Southwest. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Ms. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Ms. Cisneros's house are white or beige, so her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful but Ms. Cisneros loves it. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood-burning stove. Ms. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Okay. I'm going to... So right now, we're going to practice this reading. Because in here they say, okay, um... La señora Nelson enseña a sus invitados acerca de las tradiciones nativoamericanas. 
but here we're going to write something about uh, Salvadoran tradition. But before we go over that, we're going to check over here, okay, the information because here is what we're going to be doing here, okay? We have two paragraphs, one for each of you. Two special houses in the American Southwest. You're going to scan the article. Where, uh, where is Mrs. Cisneros' house? And where is Mrs. Nelson's house? Okay. The first one about San Antonio, Texas, and the other one in Arizona. So, Carlos, please read this paragraph, the first paragraph, the one that I am pointing at. And Emperatriz is going to read the second one. Begin, please. Okay, Carlos. Mm. I don't listen to you, Carlos. Yeah. Okay, now, yes. Begin reading. ¿Cuál sería? Disculpe, que this no one, encuentro. the first one. Ah, it is at page 49. It is this paragraph in yeah. San Antonio, Texas. Okay. Okay. Ah, am I sharing? Yes. Am I sharing the book? Yes or no? I know I wasn't. Yes. Uh, I thought that I wasn't sharing. I'm sorry, my apologies. Okay, sorry for the inconvenience. And that's why I was like... Uh, I'm sharing with you. Okay, this one in San Antonio, Texas. I need you to read it. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. Mm -hmm. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Okay. Cisneros is a Mexican American wire. She is famous for her interesting uh, stories. The house. Mm -hmm has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mr. Cisneros. House are white or beige. Uh, so her house is very different. Some of her neighborhood think her house is too colorful, but Mr. Cisnero loves it. Mrs. Cisnero loves it. Yeah. Mrs. Okay, and you have the picture, Mrs. Cisnero. Now, Emperatriz, please read about Arizona. Houses, some houses in Arizona. Permítame, teacher, que la ando buscando. Here okay. you have oh. it. Ajá. Sí, ya la vi. Okay, it's at page 49. Sí. Uh, in San Antonio, Texas is... No, 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 this one, oh. the second one, every oh, yeah. year, every year. Every, every year, every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American trips. Most people stay in hotels, but, but some people stay in traditional National American homes. Carl Holmes, Lauren Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in, in her organ. It has their child to bed on the floor um, and a good burning stove. My Nelson teacher her course about Native American traditional. Okay, thank you. So notice that this is like, a, the first one is like a traditional house, but the second one, okay, is a Hogan. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. 
Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood burning stop. Miss Nelson teaches her guests about Native American tradition. So she lives in a traditional but long, long time, okay, uh, ago that Native Americans used to live in this kind of hogans that are made of um, mud, yeah, the lodo, this is a uh, mud. Okay, and you see a wood, uh, a wooden door, and I think this is a chimney, right? And maybe it has a, a window at the back or on the other side, because otherwise, if it is only a door, maybe it is extremely hot, yes? Because if you notice, there are no too many trees around this uh, organ. And what is the curiosity about the house in San Antonio, Texas? The purple house. What is one aspect that is not common in the other traditional houses, like the ones that we have in El Salvador? Notice that the porch is colored pink, okay? It was painted in pink. Uh, the rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mrs. Cisneros' house are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Cisneros loves it, okay? So now, the two questions, class. Tell me, where is Mrs. Cisneros' house? Where is it? Where is it located? Mrs. Cisneros' house. Where in San Antonio, is? Texas. In San Antonio, Texas. Very well. Now the second one. The second question. Where is Mrs. Nelson's house? Where is Arizona. it? Arizona. It, it is in Arizona. Very well, class. Excellent. Now here. You read the article again and tell me what's in each house. Complete the chart. Uh, three chairs, many chairs, colorful paintings, porch with a pink floor, two beds on the floor, wood burning stuff. Okay. You have Sandra Cisneros' house. There is a porch with a pink floor. There are and there are. And about Lorraine Nelson's Hogan. There is a, there are, and there are. Okay, you are going to extract the information from these two paragraphs. Is that okay? When you finish, you tell me, following the example, okay? There is and there are. So in Lorraine Nelson's Hogan, we have one sentence with there is a and two in plural. The same for uh, Mrs. Sandra Cisneros' house, okay? Work on that, please. I'm going to show you this, and then you work on the completion of these sentences, and when you finish, you tell me, please. In the book, there are many books. Okay, here in the manual, you have to work the completion. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, you have the space over here.
Tiche, por favor, baje un poquito la presentación para poder leer. Gracias. Okay, that was my intention, but since Carlos asked for the space where to write the answers, I share it, okay? But here you are. I finish. Excellent. Thank you. So read uh, your sentences, Carlos, please, about Mrs. Cisneros' house. What do you have? Okay, it's the... Uh, there, there are colorful paintings. Okay. Uh, next, there are many books. Great, very well. In plural, your sentences, right? And what about you, Imperatriz? Uh, Nelson, there are, yeah. many, there are many people visit. There are many, so many. People stay in traditional native. Uh, you may say probably there are three chairs. There are three chairs. Okay, Emperatriz? Okay. It is plural. There are three chairs. Two beds on the floor. Yeah. Because with there are. There is a wooden burning stove. That is number one. There is a wood burning stove. Yes. Una cocina de, de leña. A wood burning stove. So you may say there are three chairs in Mrs. Nelson's house. There are two beds on the floor in Mrs. Nelson's house. And the number one should be there is a wood burning stop. There is a wood burning stop. Okay. This house yes. is very big. Here, these houses. Traditional house. Yes. Even here in El Salvador, right? Old houses are very, very big and large. Big because the roof is very tall, right? And they are very large in our country. In the towns. In the towns. Okay. So now let's continue. Let's talk about these questions. Imagine you are painting your house. What colors do you use and why? Think about you have to paint your house according to your favorite color or colors. What colors would you use? And imagine you are visiting Arizona. Do you stay in a Hogan or in a hotel and say why? Okay, but first go over number one. Imagine that you 
have to paint your house, okay? And you have to make the decision to choose the colors. Which colors would you choose and why? The same color the house or are you going to use different colors for the dif different uh, rooms? And say why, okay? Let's begin, Carlos. What colors do you use to paint your house? Mm, I think that yellow. Okay, yellow. Only one color for all the house. Uh, for for outdoor. Okay. Uh, for my my bedroom. Mm -hmm. uh, blue, blue sky. Blue. Okay, great. And why do you do you want to paint your your bedroom a blue sky? Why do you like that color? Mm, I, I like color. You like that color? Okay, only because you like it. Okay. In another room, what color would you use? For example, for the kitchen. Uh, I think that um, brown. Brown, the kitchen. Okay, <laughs> why brown? Uh, por, porque mucho se ensucia. Ah, color ah, but, it, but I think that probably brown is a hot color. And you know, but okay, we we'll respect. And what about the living room? In the living room, uh, green, green light. Light green. Light green, light green. Okay, thank you. Now, Emperatriz, what about you? What colors would you choose? It's fish. Uh huh. And toda la casa está de fish. Oh, really? Yes. Why? Este color así melocotón. Okay, oh. peach. Peach. Uh -huh, peach. But why do you like that color? Color peach. Pero por qué ese color? Ah, por claro, por clarito. Ah, because it is soft, a uh, very soft and light color. Okay, now imagine, class, that you are visiting Arizona, okay? This is the house in Arizona, yeah? The Hogan, yeah. the Hogan. So you are a tourist and you like adventure. Now, class, I ask you, do you stay in a Hogan like this or in a hotel? And tell me why. Where would you like to stay? In a Hogan or in a hotel? Okay. Carlos? Uh, I think the Hogan for the experience. Experience, yeah, and the culture, and then you can tell and live that experience. And Miss Emperatriz? Uh, I have a hotel. Uh -huh. Why? Why do you like better a hotel in Nara Hogan? ¿Por qué prefiere un hotel y no una choza como es? La comodidad. Ah, because it is more convenient, more comfortable, yes. And you have all the, all the gadgets and whatever you want, yes. And you also have a service room. But here, también tiene servicio al cuarto. But here, I think you have to do everything, yes. And to take a shower, maybe it is outside another another little hogan to take a shower, yes? Because I think probably it is not in here. Okay, great. And now, en, yes? En español, en español, se ve, se ve pequeño, se ve pequeño, pero, uh -huh. pero según la descripción, eh, mm -hmm. yo estoy interesado en... en and quizás experimentar porque visiting. Yeah, no, dice that's de okay. que tiene dos camas que, que uh -huh. es yeah but but I mean uh, 
it is it is a nice experience but probably it doesn't have electricity yeah there's no electricity so you uh, well for a romantic uh, time maybe because with candles you are alone and you are uh, out of the of the noise yeah and I'll, out of the busy of the people and you know everything yeah if you want to have a kind of relaxing time better a hogan from my point of view and it will be interesting to visit one yes because this is a traditional home and in a hotel it is similar like if you are at home right it has a lot of similarities very well okay and uh, okay this is another one but we have to go over this one and look at this this kind of a styles cabin a cabin okay a cabin this is a cabin a penthouse a houseboat and a villa which would you like to live in which one would you like to live in which is your favorite to live in imagine that money is no problem so would you like to live in a cabin, in a villa, in a houseboat, or in a penthouse? Hello, Emperatriz, where would cabin. you live? In a cabin, okay. And Carlos, what's your favorite? I don't know. Uh, penthouse? Uh-huh, all of them are interesting, right? Yes. But I think that in a houseboat, it is kind of risky when it rains. It is more risky than living in a penthouse, a cabin, or in a villa, yeah? When we have heavy rain, a lot of water, yeah? Okay. And in here, we were working with the furniture, right? And we also work with this. So next class on Monday class, we have the next class on Monday. Yeah. So I okay. need you to be here because um, let me see. I know. Oh, yes. Because no, it is on Monday, July. The no, on Monday, the 26th. Yes. The day after tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, pasado mañana. Yeah, okay. we're going to continue working with this. But listen, um, congratulations, yeah. Carlos. Let's give it up for you because you finished everything in the platform. I am very happy for that. And Emperatriz, I need you to go over the platform because I was checking and according to this let me see emperatriz your full name okay su nombre completo emperatriz emperatriz de los angeles Celaya de okay here 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 okay great so let me see because i need to okay. here but let me see i'm going to check because I think you have worked only, uh, Emperatriz, sections one and two, right? Okay. Solamente ha trabajado las secciones uno y dos, sí, Emperatriz. Sí. Okay, Emperatriz uh -huh. de Los Ángeles, Celaya. Sí. You have worked unit one, two, and three, and the midterm, uh -huh. yes? Yes. Y el examen medio. Vaya, entonces, si es posible, trate de avanzar lo más que pueda, ¿verdad? En eh, la siguiente unidad, okay, que sería ah, sí. ya la, el homework 4, ¿sí? Ah, ¿Está bien? Si algún problemita sí. ahí, con gusto le vamos a ayudar. Okay. Eh, entonces, Emperatriz, fíjese que le decía a su compañero Carlos, porque como... Por el, la cuestión del horario, ¿verdad? Él se unió ya bien tardecito y usted también. Entonces, no sé si vamos a tener que repetir esta clase. 
porque mm -hmm. sería una hora y 15 minutos, creo, lo que, lo que, y son dos horas de 60 minutos. Pero vamos a esperar a ver qué nos dice la administración, ¿de acuerdo? Está bien, de acuerdo. Sí, porque como ellos tienen que programarla, but anyways, we're going to be meeting next Monday, next week, the day after tomorrow. Pasado mañana nos reunimos a las 3 de la tarde, ¿sí? Sí, sí. Ok, please. Okay. Set your alarm, por favor. Activen la alarma y aquí, miren, pónganla cerca de la almohadita para que la escuchen, porque le aseguro que sus compañeros no la escucharon la alarma. ¿Sí, sí. o no, emperatriz? Sí, Ajá. sí. Pero mañana no trabajan. No, 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 ni el lunes tampoco. Vamos a estar. Vamos ya. a descansar. Es que ahora estamos post turnos, teacher. Por eso es que toda la gente uh -huh. está dormida. Bueno, entonces avance lo más que puede en la plataforma, ¿de acuerdo? Sí. Ok, thank you so much. See you on Monday. Happy weekend. Go and sleep. Relax. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you for joining. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you.